everybody. Wednesday afternoon, uh, 2.30, waiting uh, for this big push of rain to begin. we got two phases. One starts this evening, basically in the 4 to 5 o'clock hour, 6 at the latest. Goes all night into early tomorrow morning. The second phase kicks in Thursday overnight into Friday, and that continues at least through Friday morning. Those are the two big phases uh, with the latest uh, analysis that I've done. This is a visible satellite picture. Let me get over here, actually. <laughs> you can see the, the low swirling back here. You see this big fetch of moisture right here surging up into us. It's a warm front this evening, and then it's a cold front on Friday. Those are the two big triggers. And you've likely heard uh, you know, people talk about, uh, let, me, let me back out of this and see if I can get a better, a better shot. Okay. Hearing people talk about what is an atmospheric river, I mentioned it a little bit too. See in this wider picture, see the big ball of moisture here with the warm front, and then this elongated flow that, that backs up right there. Not a very impressive flow pattern to call it an atmospheric river, but here's the deal. To have an atmospheric river, you also have the elongated flow of moisture lined up with the jet stream, and that just keeps streaming and streaming and streaming into one area, almost on a stationary pattern for a while. The jet stream initially is to the north of this. The jet stream may come down into us on Friday with the cold front, but there's some reason to believe that it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then I wouldn't really call this an atmospheric river. And that would also mean that the rain amounts would be potentially less than what we're talking about. So there's still some question as to what's going on. I do want to, I like to kind of point out or highlight how to best use my weather site. So if you go to the hamburger menu and you click on uh, weather headlines right there, you'll get to a bunch of articles that I've written, including my winter outlook. You can scroll down and find that. The top article right here is my latest, this is in text form, but it's great information. My latest write-up, sorry, I'm getting over here. <laughs> my latest write-up of what to expect. If you go down to the recap area, it says, two heavy rain episodes, one tonight, a second Friday daytime, possible rain break, of sorts Thursday afternoon. Valley totals from tonight through Friday night, two to three inches. Coast range totals two and a half to five. Coast range and cascades, six inches, possibly 10. If you get 10 inches in the coast range or even eight, you'd probably have some river flooding setting up by Friday night or by Friday afternoon and some of the typical rivers out of the coast range and the cascades. But certainly high water spots and also keeping an eye on mudslides in the wildfire burn scar areas that we've had over the past couple of fire seasons. So that's great information. And in a nutshell, that kind of tells you exactly what I'm looking at. Uh, let me get back to my seven-day forecast. Here she comes right here. I'm just going to blow this up so you can see it more easily. All right. So again, this is um, a warm pattern that's going to have a lot of rain. Remember, the warmer the air the potential is greater for it to hold a bunch of moisture. So if you're talking about getting an inch of rain in our region over a 24-hour period, you almost always have to have a dew point of at least 50. Well, the dew points this time around go up into the mid-50s. So the rain starts this evening. We hold around 50 tonight and then actually go up, even with rain. It could be mid-50s when you wake up in the morning. Then tomorrow gets up to 60. If we get a decent rain break in the afternoon tomorrow, it could go warmer. It could be mid-60s. It could be 66. Wow. And then Friday, mid-60s or even 60. Maybe 60 and raining when you wake up Friday morning. I've got 64 the high. No matter what scenario plays out, I think it's most likely at this point that we get the rain push Friday with the front coming through that I mentioned and the rain break tomorrow afternoon. Saturday still looks dry. Sunday's a question mark. That is all over the place. Right now, I think it's likely we were dry Saturday. Everything shows that. We're dry Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon, perhaps an increasing chance of some showers. I have another front on Monday, and then that starts to fall apart. And Tuesday eventually becomes dry, and I have a, a, a dry Wednesday to follow. That Wednesday to follow would be our first, next, if you will, cold night with temperatures in the 30s. So, I mean, the overnight low is really comfortable, right? I mean, look at that, 56, 50, 47, 50, 45, really nice stuff. So um, a reminder also that I post information on my Portland Weather Facebook page. So if you have Facebook, no matter what you think of it, uh, if you just use my Portland Weather page, it's just weather for me, uh, and that's another good spot for you to catch some headlines. But otherwise, keep updated with my seven-day. If I need to update that weather headlines blurb again that I did, uh, I will do that. Uh, and I think you're good to go. I, I see winds at above 1,500 feet, pretty constant, 20 to 30 miles per hour over the next 48 hours. But down low, it's more of a south wind, 10 to 20. No wind warnings expected at the coast or anything. So that's 
uh, that's good news. The snow levels on the mountain, by the way, are going to be going up to 8,000 feet or even 9,000 feet. So it's just rain up over the Cascades. I was going to pull up the radar and see what's going on right now. Sorry. Yeah, there's that wave just offshore. That's what's going to be swinging up through Salem and eventually into Portland. And don't forget, this is great. Uh, you can stop this. This is uh, tonight at 10 o'clock, showing the steady rain, this rain, over us at 10 o'clock. So that's a great tool. This is a forecast model like Futurecast that we show you on TV, and you can play it hour by hour, and that will give you a good shot of um, information of the rain coming as well, the timing. Okay, I will talk to you soon.